Intercontinental ballistic missiles can reach distances of 10,000 to 18,000 kilometers, putting any target worldwide at risk. The detonation of a single nuclear warhead over a major city would result in a catastrophic disaster, causing the deaths of a million people. The explosion will create a large fireball or mushroom cloud that could vaporize everything in its vicinity, including soil and water. Additionally, it can generate a shockwave capable of destroying buildings and initiating firestorms. The lingering radiation can remain for decades and has the potential to cause fatalities either within minutes or over a period of decades. Furthermore, an EMP resulting from a nuclear blast can disrupt unprotected electronics on the ground and in orbit. If a nuclear blast occurs in orbit, it can create a ring of charged particles that extends from Earth along its magnetic field. Within a second or two, a body can be vaporized by the shock waves and thermal radiation from the blast. Today, there are around eight countries with functional intercontinental ballistic missiles. We're going to explore the five most lethal or potent ones. Number 1. The RS-28 Sarmat The RS-28 Sarmat, also known as Satan-2 in the media, is considered the most lethal intercontinental ballistic missile in the world. The ICBM was designed to replace the Soviet Satan-1. It is a very powerful three-stage underground launch missile with hypersonic capabilities and uses liquid fuel. It successfully completed its inaugural test flight on April 20, 2022 and was officially deployed for operational service in September 2023, becoming the longest-range and most potent ICBM system in the world. With a range of 18,000 km and a launch weight of 208 tons, the missile measures 35.3 meters in length and 3 meters in diameter. Being classified as a heavy ICBM, the Sarmat can accommodate various warhead options. Russian reports suggest that the Sarmat can carry 10 tons of warheads, with each warhead capable of yielding 750 kilotons. It also has the capacity to carry 15 to 16 multiple independently targetable re-entry vehicles, as well as the avant-garde hypersonic light vehicle, or a combination of warheads and countermeasures against anti-ballistic missile systems. On 18th February 2023, Russians conducted a test of RS-28 missile. However, the US stated that the test was unsuccessful, but the Russian government has not confirmed or denied this. There is uncertainty in the world about whether Satan 2 is ready or not. At number 2, the Dongfang 5. The DF-5, also known as Dongfang-5, is a formidable missile developed by China, featuring a two-stage ICBM design. With a length of 32.6 meters and a diameter of 3.35 meters, it weighs 183 tons and is estimated to have a range of 13,000 to 16,000 kilometers. It conducted its maiden flight in 1971 and entered operational service a decade later. One drawback of the missile is its lengthy 30-60 to 60 minute loading time for liquid fuel and dinitrogen tetroxide oxidizer. Plans were in place by 2012 to replace the DF-5 with the solid fuel DF-41. By around 2015, it was reported that the latest DF-5B variant had received an MIRV upgrade, enabling China to potentially deliver nuclear warheads to any location on the planet. As of 2017, it was estimated that there were approximately 20 operational DF-5 launchers with each MIRV missile capable of carrying around 12 warheads, according to the U.S. National Air and Space Intelligence Center. At number 3, the Minuteman 3. The LGM Minuteman 3, an intercontinental ballistic missile, is currently in service with the Air Force Global Strike Command of the United States. Since the 1960s, the Minuteman missile has been the primary component of the U.S. land-based nuclear arsenal. There have been three iterations of Minuteman missiles. The Minuteman 1 was put into service in 1962 and the first U.S. ICBM to be stationed in underground silos. The Minuteman 1 was succeeded by the Minuteman 2 between 1966 and 1973, 
with enhanced propulsion, extended the range of this missile to approximately 13,000 km, and its re entry vehicle, carrying a 1.2 megaton thermonuclear warhead, was equipped with electronic jammers and other devices intended to penetrate radar directed anti ballistic missile defenses around cities and military sites. The Minuteman 3 was deployed between 1970 and 1975 with two or three independently targetable re entry vehicles each carrying a 170 kiloton thermonuclear warhead. In the 1980s, some Minuteman 3s were outfitted with three 335 kiloton warheads and a more precise guidance system, providing them with the potential to destroy reinforced ICBM silos and command bunkers. At that time, approximately 1,000 Minuteman 2 and 3 missiles were deployed in the continental United States. Today. The U.S. ICBM force comprises 450 modernized Minuteman III missiles, each armed with a single warhead. At number 4, the Trident II. The Trident D-5, also known as UGM-133A Trident II, is an SLBM manufactured by Lockheed Martin Space in Sunnyvale, California. It is an active use by the United States and Royal Navy and was first put into service in March 1990. This improved SLBM has enhanced accuracy, payload capacity, and range compared to its predecessor, the Trident C-4. The Trident II is a crucial component of the U.S. strategic nuclear triad and bolsters U.S. strategic deterrence. It is recognized as a robust sea-based system capable of targeting multiple objectives. Its adaptable payload meets various treaty requirements, including those of New START, including those of New START. With its increased payload, the Trident II enables nuclear deterrence to be achieved with fewer submarines and its high accuracy makes it suitable for use as first strike a weapon, approaching the precision of land-based missiles. The U.S. Ohio-class submarines and British Vanguard-class submarines carry Trident II missiles, with 24 missiles on each Ohio-class and 16 missiles on each Vanguard-class. The D-5 model is the sixth iteration in the series of missile generations deployed over the past six years since the inception of the sea-based deterrent program. The Trident missile is expected to remain in service until 2042. At number 5, the M-51. The M-51 SLBM is a French submarine-launched ballistic missile built by Arian Group and deployed with the French Navy. Launched from a submerged submarine, the M-51 travels through the Earth's atmosphere into space, reaching an altitude of more than 2,000 km, well beyond low Earth orbit. It then re-enters the atmosphere at a speed of 20,000 km per hour, or Mach 20. Designed to replace the M-45 SLBM, it was first deployed in 2010. Each missile carries 6 to 10 independently targetable TN-75 thermonuclear warheads, the three-stage engine of the M51 is directly derived from the solid propellant boosters of Ariane 5. Like other blunt-nosed SLBM examples, such as the Trident D5, the M51 uses an extensible aerospike in the nose. The missiles are a compromise over the M5 SLBM design, which was to have a range of 11,000 km and carry 10 new-generation oceanic nuclear warhead MIRVs. The M51 entered service in 2010. With this, the buzz is signing off for today. But stay tuned as we bring you more updated information on the world of military. We'll see you guys in our next video. Bye-bye.